Hello everyone, welcome to Sydney's Fitness Studio. Uh, I'm Dr. Fit Sydney Reeves and we're on location at the grocery store. We're here at Smith's. They have a health food section, which is very valuable. Uh, we're going to take a tour through here and talk about some things that you can eat, how to combine certain uh, meals so that you can have some healthy snacks. Uh, we're starting off in the, actually the organic section. And the question is, do we buy organic or don't we, right? Organic just means it's grown in specific soils that are rich in nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and uh, they don't use pesticides and some of those other sprays to contaminate the food. So, I think it's a good idea to, to choose organic, but sometimes it can be expensive. Let's move on down. Over here, we start in the leaf section, uh, lettuce section actually. There's different types of lettuce, right? We got romaine leaf lettuce. Now, you take some romaine leaf lettuce, and you put some hummus on it or some tuna on it. Take some tuna, mix it with some cucumber or celery, and just put it right on the uh, leaf lettuce, roll it up into like a lettuce wrap. It makes a great snack. Just so happens that vegetables combined with proteins like tuna makes a very good food combination. Feeds your muscles very well, very fast, and builds good lean muscle mass. Okay, come on down. When it comes to like carrots and celery, those kinds of items make really good dipping sticks. Take a, you can take a green pepper or a red pepper or a yellow pepper, cut it into a bowl, put some cottage cheese in it, or maybe mix some avocado with salsa and put it inside of it and just stuff it and eat it just like that. Um, you notice this section is like very bright colored. Um, Mother Nature creates these colors to try and get your attention because this is where you should be spending the majority of your time figuring out how to come up with recipes and mix it into your daily routine. Preparation equals success. You've got to be prepared. Get some vegetables, mix them in your daily routine, you'll be much more successful. Let's move on down here a little further. When it comes to fruit, you know, um, we have phones that Google all this information. Google your fruit. Become more uh, educated on what's inside the fruit, how many, how many calories, how much water, how much fiber, how many vitamins, how many minerals, and that's going to hopefully motivate you to grab that fruit in your day. Like an apple is only 80 calories, that's very low. The skin of an apple has pectin, super strong and rich in antioxidants which fight free radicals and prevent cancer. Most of the items in this section actually create an alkaline environment in your body and we know now that cancer does not grow in an alkaline environment. That's huge right there. So, go ahead, have a great fruit. You know, it's very low in calories, helps to alkalize your body, and super high in water content. In our world today, it's really hard to get water in our day. So, mix in fruits and vegetables and increase the amount of water that you get per day. Let's move on down here a little bit further. I'm always talking to people about variety. It's very important to have a mixture of variety of fruits and vegetables. You can't just have like carrot juice all day long or you'll turn orange, right? So, and plus it drives your blood sugar way too high, very high in a high the glycemic index. So what you do is you have carrots mixed with broccoli, cauliflower, other vegetables, and that'll balance out those blood sugars. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a salad, have it for lunch, put some tuna on top of it, maybe some cottage cheese or some salmon and uh, makes a very good food combination. I recommend breakfast be an omelet with some eggs, mix all your vegetables in the omelet. It's a great food combination. You've got your protein in the eggs and then your vegetables mixed in makes a very nice omelet. And then at lunchtime, always have a salad. Breakfast time and lunch, two best times to get like 30% uh, of your daily calories, okay? So big breakfast, big lunch, super important. Then the rest of your day, small, like 10% of your daily calories. So for example, a handful of almonds is 140 calories. That's going to be a perfect snack size to help you reach your fitness goals, 